the, the Muslims in this country have to become an active voice for good. America, it's called one nation, we used to say one nation indivisible. One nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. It, in many ways, we've become many nations divided under godlessness, with licentiousness, and just lust for all. And, and we as a people really need to think about why it is that pornography is the number one form of media now in the United States of America. We've, we've entered into a pornified culture. Pamela Paul wrote about this in a book called Pornified. It's one of the most disturbing books that I've read. Chris Hedges, in his book, The Empire of Illusion, the chapter, the second chapter of that, I actually regret reading it because it was so troubling and disturbing to me about what's happening in the culture of pornography. One of the pornographers recently wrote an open letter to Mitt Romney saying the Republican Party needs to tone down its anti-pornography rhetoric because they don't have their pulse on America. America has embraced pornography and it's about time the Republican Party embraced pornography. That is what we're dealing with. We are dealing with an incredibly vile force in this country that's corrosive and that is, is literally eviscerating the moral character that has always been there in this country. And if the Muslims don't become a voice, a rational voice, an intelligent voice, not a reactionary, pseudo-religious or bad religious voice, because there's a lot of bad religion out there. We have to be people rooted in intelligence in spirituality. Plato talks about the problem of stories in cultures and the corrosive effect they can have on youth. In his time, he was talking about the plays of Aristophanes. He was talking about some of the classical literature that today is read for moral edification. If he saw the type of stories that were now on a daily basis consumed by our young people, I think that he would completely write off the possibility for any real spirituality, any real metaphysical uh, aspect or element to this culture. So we have to realize the absolute danger of this. We need to be people that are providers and creators of a positive culture, a culture of life, not a culture of death. We used to call people that watch people in private acts of intimacy, they were called peeping toms. It's a crime in the United States. Now we have large numbers of people watching people in public acts of depravity and profanity, and we call these consumers, consumers of entertainment. Peeping toms are classified as psychologically ill people. And yet people that are consuming this culture that we have ample evidence of the harm that it's having. I listened to a lecture at the Witherspoon Institute on the effects of pornography in terms of the neuroplasticity of the brain and how brains become rewired and it was one of the most troubling talks I'd ever heard. And we now know that our young children from the ages of 12 to 17 are having exposures to pornography on a regular basis. Many, many young people. This is a serious problem in our culture and this is one of the problems.